Voyager's sending back terrifying data to Earth. The Voyager 1, NASA's farthest traveled spacecraft, is still traveling across uncovered regions of the cosmos nearly 50 years after its launch. Scientists are baffled by the scary data that this famous space probe machine is sending back to Earth due to what appears to be a malfunction. Join us as we talk about the odd data that the Voyager has been transmitting back to Earth during its space exploration journey. Scientists have been interested in learning more about the realms beyond since the Big Bang, which inspired the launch of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, among other space missions. Voyager 2 was actually the first spacecraft to launch, departing from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Voyager 1 followed two weeks later on September 5 of that same year. However, they switched places as twins, the weight of both probes is 720 kilograms, approximately the same as a small car. Both were launched during a unique outer planet alignment window that caused a slingshot effect to propel the spacecraft from one planet to another. They have moved at various speeds and trajectories. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 passed its identical twin, and since then, it has been our go-to resource for learning about various facts in space-related riddles. The first spacecraft to begin its Jovian imaging mission in 1978 was Voyager 1. It was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent a massive amount of photographs back to us. Voyager 1 completed an outstanding 108-hour stint beginning in January 1979, during which it captured 3,750 images of Jupiter's rotation to produce a time-lapse movie showing 10 of the planet's spins. It passed through the Jovian moon system in February 1979 and a month later found the faint ring surrounding Jupiter. Voyager 1 also made a unique discovery when it found two new moons, named Thalassa and Methuselah. Correct maneuvers were made to ensure that the spacecraft was ready for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Voyager 1 also found four other moons during its orbit of Saturn, including Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Dione. Scientists opted to end the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and send both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 outside of our solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. In January 1990, the new mission officially known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission got underway. Some of the most famous photographs in history, depicting the Sun and most of the planets, were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990, when it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. They are frequently referred to as the Solar System Family Photo. There were 60 total shots taken by Voyager 1, bringing the total number of photos taken by the spacecraft to 670. Despite the fact that Mercury and Mars cannot be seen in the photos for various reasons, in the end, the spacecraft's cameras were shut off to conserve power and memory before its trip to interstellar space. In addition to the interstellar probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons spacecraft. Prior to Voyager 1 passing by, Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, the Pioneer 10 was the furthest spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its journey for a further 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012, with no other space probes in sight to catch up with, but NASA didn't publicly announce the accomplishment until 2013. Let's go to November of 2018, both space probes have officially left the solar system. When Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium, Voyager 1 is thought to be 14.5 billion miles or 23.5 billion kilometers from Earth. It has continued to provide us with important information that no other space probe missions have been able to divulge since it entered the undiscovered territory beyond our solar system. The spaceship has spent the majority of its 45-year trip in space in good health. However, in recent times, experts have found some odd anomalies in its performance. Voyager 1 is currently transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth, giving the impression that it is unsure of its location coordinates. There is a scary twist to the issue, though, normally, scientists have pre-programmed Voyager to go into safe mode or sound an alarm if it becomes lost in space. But up until this point, it has not. Additionally, its antenna, which transmits data back to Earth, appears to be in great working order. However, the data it has recently been transmitting is suspicious. 
The Interstellar Explorer is functioning regularly, taking instructions from Earth and carrying them out, as well as collecting and transmitting scientific data. However, readouts from the probe's articulation and control system do not accurately reflect what is taking place within, according to NASA's official statement. What exactly is happening on board, then? Every spacecraft that is headed towards interstellar space, including Voyager 1 and 2, has a special 12-inch diameter gold-plated disc loaded with audio and video messages as a backup in case an alien species discovers the ship. 35 Earth noises, 115 live photos, 90 minutes of Western music, and greetings from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim are just a few of the contents on the Space DVD. Additionally, they are recorded in 55 different languages, so if it was taken over by aliens, they would presumably be attempting to decode the signals. Thoughts that the spaceship is currently under the direction of aliens have been quickly refuted by scientists. Voyager's ability to function depends heavily on the attitude and articulation control system. For starters, it always maintains its antenna aimed at Earth so that scientists can correctly receive data. Additionally, it controls how the spaceship is oriented. Engineers keeping an eye on the situation now feel that the OX is functioning as it should, which just adds to the enigma we already face. Additionally, none of the safety features designed to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated, according to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2. A mystery like this is par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both about 45 years old, which is much older than what was envisioned in the mission plan. Dodd also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1 because of the distance between us and the space probe. The challenges are formidable, largely due to the spacecraft being approximately 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. This immense distance introduces several complications that the team must navigate carefully. A rescue operation is nearly impossible given the current technological and logistical constraints. Voyager 1 is far beyond the reach of any spacecraft or repair mission that we could feasibly send. The spacecraft's incredible journey has taken it into the outermost regions of our solar system and beyond into interstellar space, where it continues to travel further away from us each day. Messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Voyager 1's current location. This means that any command or instruction sent by the engineering team requires a significant amount of time to be received by the spacecraft. This delay poses a substantial challenge for real-time problem-solving and troubleshooting. Furthermore, once Voyager 1 processes the command, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take another 21 hours to return. This implies that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes an average of two days. Such a delay makes it exceptionally difficult to implement quick fixes or iterative troubleshooting processes, which are often necessary when dealing with complex technical issues. The engineering team must meticulously plan and execute each command, anticipating various scenarios and potential outcomes. Unlike missions closer to Earth where engineers can swiftly send and receive commands, the long communication delay necessitates a more strategic and patient approach. Each instruction must be carefully crafted to address the known issues without causing additional problems. Considering the lengthy time it will take to confirm whether the command had the desired effect, the significant communication delay also means that the engineering team has limited opportunities to interact with the spacecraft. Every command sent must be effective and precise, leaving little room for error. This necessitates extensive testing and validation of commands on Earth before they are transmitted to Voyager 1. In addition to these logistical challenges, the spacecraft itself is over four decades old, having been launched in 1977. The technology on board, although state-of-the-art at the time, is now considered ancient by modern standards. The engineering team must work with equipment and systems that were designed and built in the 1970s, which adds another layer of complexity to the problem-solving process. The harsh environment of space also takes a toll on the spacecraft systems. Voyager 1 has been exposed to cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for over 45 years. These factors contribute to the wear and degradation of its components, making it even more challenging to maintain and repair. 
Despite these hurdles, the engineering team remains dedicated to resolving the current issues. They are exploring various hypotheses about what might be causing the anomalies and testing potential solutions through simulations on Earth. This careful, methodical approach is essential given the stakes involved. Any incorrect command could potentially worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft. The team is also leveraging the redundancy built into Voyager 1's systems. Like many space missions, Voyager 1 was designed with backup systems to increase its resilience to failures. The engineering team may be able to switch to these backup systems to restore normal operations if they determine that a specific component is malfunctioning. In summary, while the challenges of diagnosing and fixing the issues with Voyager 1 are immense, the engineering team is utilizing their expertise, experience, and the spacecraft's inherent resilience to address the problems. Their meticulous and patient approach is crucial in managing the significant communication delay and the complexities of working with a spacecraft that is both incredibly distant and significantly aged. Despite the odds, their efforts aim to continue Voyager 1's legacy of exploration and scientific discovery far beyond its original mission parameters. The malfunctions might be the result of cosmic rays altering some of the spacecraft's delicate electrical systems. These high-energy particles originating from distant supernovae or other cosmic events travel through space at nearly the speed of light. When they strike the Voyager, the particles can penetrate its exterior and impact internal electronic components. The longer the spacecraft is in space, the greater the likelihood that cosmic rays will affect its systems. Over time, this phenomenon can lead to sporadic anomalies like the ones currently observed in Voyager 1's telemetry data. Engineers have long been aware of the potential hazards of cosmic rays to spacecraft electronics, as well as human explorers, but the extent of their impact can be difficult to predict or mitigate. Despite these challenges, engineers have implemented various strategies to protect spacecraft from cosmic rays, including shielding sensitive electronics, designing redundant systems, and using error-correcting codes in data transmission. However, even with these precautions, cosmic rays can still pose a threat particularly to spacecraft operating in deep space for extended periods of time, as in the case of Voyager 1. Although the recent anomalies in Voyager 1's data are puzzling, they are not entirely unexpected given the spacecraft's age and its prolonged exposure to cosmic rays. Engineers and scientists continue to monitor the situation and analyze the data received from Voyager 1. They are working to determine the precise cause of the anomalies and to develop strategies for mitigating their effects on the spacecraft's operations. Despite these challenges, Voyager 1 has far surpassed its original mission expectations and continues to provide valuable insights into the outer regions of our solar system and beyond. Its achievements are a testament to the ingenuity of its creators and the dedication of the team that has supported it for over four decades. Voyager 1's journey is a reminder of humanity's enduring curiosity and determination to explore the unknown reaches of space. As we look to the future, missions like Voyager 1 will continue to inspire and expand our understanding of the cosmos.